The students were pushing back against the Parental Rights in Education bill, which limits classroom instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity topics. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean is live at Mandarin High School now. So with one of the many schools that saw a student rally there yesterday, Joe. Right, 17-year-old uh, Jack Patos, a Flagler County student, was credited with organizing all of these protests across the state, even here at Mandarin High. He was later kicked off campus, suspended. Now, the school said it was because the one of the rallies, the rallies he organized broke some of the rules they had set out, but students say the rules they were given were unfair and unreasonable. This video from Flagler Palm Coast High School yesterday shows 17-year-old Jack Patos speaking through a megaphone. To stop policing our education! Students at schools across the state joined in the mass demonstration in protest of the Parental Rights in Education bill, which has become known as the Don't Say Gay bill. At Potosa School, administrators okayed the rally as long as it kept to a certain time frame and didn't disrupt any school operations. We asked Flagler Palm Coast High School and the Flagler County School District why this student was suspended when the protests were approved by administrators. Well, the district can't discuss individual students' punishments, but a spokesperson did imply it was because these protests didn't follow the rules that were set out for them. The district statement said, school administration spoke with the event organizer numerous times about the expectations and parameters so that students could take part in a peaceful, safe protest. The district added, Student leaders were told no flags prior to and at the beginning of the event so as to avoid undue safety concerns and campus disruptions. I asked for clarification and a spokesperson cited the student code of conduct, which bans any items on the campus that are not required to participate in school activities or lessons. In a statement released on social media, Patos admitted to rejecting the flag rule and encouraging his classmates not to hand them over to the staff members who tried to confiscate them. That, he said, is what led to the suspension. His classmate, Cameron Driggers, the junior class president, said that's unfair. I think it's it really is nothing else than a crutch to take a student leader off campus that was challenging them. And if I were Jack's position, I would have done the exact same thing. And I think Jack is completely content with what he did. That student you just saw, Cameron Driggers, uh, he started an online petition to get uh, his classmates' suspension overturned. Uh, since yesterday, it's garnered more than 4,200 signatures. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.